Hi guys. Well, I thought it was supposed to be a spectacularly gorgeous fall of 2024 day today here on Saturday morning, October 5th, 2024, but maybe later today that will happen and uh, I am back up to the 19 year old <coughs> Amish kid so we can continue our quest to get rid of this red brake light Is this, how many am I two weeks into this I'm continuing to spend more of my time energy money and my uh, pointless worthless existence the the focus of my life is getting this red brake light off of this dashboard uh, <laughs> anyway so uh, what do I want to rant about here comes the sun so I was uh, on Netflix last night where I you know which is pretty much my life after dark and I noticed that this woman Ellen DeGeneres had a stand-up comedy special and I have never uh, I have never spent more than 10 minutes of my life attending to Ellen DeGeneres I never once watched one minute of either one of her television shows mainly because I don't have a television uh, so I know nothing about this woman zero I, I could give a flying fuck about Ellen DeGeneres I said okay uh, I'm gonna give this woman 30 minutes of my life uh, checking out her stand-up comedy and uh, I, I don't know uh, she was uh, fairly funny uh, I mean not as funny as I am of course I mean because I'm the well I'm the funniest motherfucker ever born uh, on the planet so compared to me uh, she wasn't funny but but she was okay but uh, a good part of her shtick at least the 30 minutes of my life that I devoted to Ellen DeGeneres will probably never devote another minute to. She, uh, she was talking about the theme of giving a flying fuck what people think about you. Uh, and <laughs> just, just like what we go through to uh, to when the approval of other people and uh, and especially I, I think she was talk, talking about not just people you know close to you you know family and friends but just people in general uh, what most humans go through uh, how they just well I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm just kind of taking off. Uh, I don't re really remember what she said, so I might be uh, repeating some of what she said, but I know exactly what she's talking about. Uh, I mean, we all do. Uh, the amount of energy we spend uh, to get other people uh, e either to like us or to not dislike us at least that uh, and it, it is unbelievable what I uh, what we all go through now I'm glad to say that I am NOT a victim of it as much as most people I honestly don't believe that uh, I give a flying fuck uh, compared to the general population of humans of which I am not a member of the general population of humans uh, compared to them I think I do a pretty good job of not giving a fuck 
uh, about what people think of me. Now, obviously, uh, the closer somebody is to me in terms of being family member or a close personal real life friend, I, I make a little bit more of an effort, you know, not just to be an absolute flagrant asshole. Uh, you know, I keep my Donald Trump uh, to, to myself a little bit. Uh, but what I really don't get, and I'm not going to name any names here, is these people on YouTube, e even here in the Doomosphere, who don't want to say anything, you know, to offend people and to make people, I, I don't know, dislike them or, or whatever, like, 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 good fucking God. These are people, uh, you know, 99% of you fuckers, uh, I will never meet in my entire life. Uh, at best, you're, you're my little imaginary friend. Uh, you're, you're, you're somewhere between a, a little blip uh, on a computer screen and one of my imaginary little friends. Uh, you know, YouTube, uh, social media, but particularly YouTube, uh, the anonymity of, of YouTube, that uh, I can come on here and say whatever the fuck I feel like. It, it, and I, in, in, in at least the, the guy that you guys know here on YouTube, uh, that guy uh, really does not give a fuck uh, what, what, it, what you guys think of me. Fucking Humpty Dumpty Tribe is not for, it's not for pussies. I will get out here and say whatever the fuck I want to. Uh, I believe in the uh, the involuntary forced sterilization of the human population. I, I, I think every fucking human on this planet needs to be fucking sterilized. I wish every mother fucking human on this planet would go to fucking bed tonight and not wake up. Uh, you know, the old thing about the, the genie. Uh, if, if you had one wish, <coughs> one wish, uh, meeting the fucking genie, it would be, it would be a choice of two, uh, it would either be, if I was feeling particularly magnanimous towards my fellow human, my, my wish would be that every human on the planet would be sterilized in the next uh, five minutes, that every single human being on this fucking planet was sterilized and they could just live out uh, the rest of their miserable puny lives, that would be one choice and my other choice was just go ahead and tell the genie, uh, let everybody have a nice day today, uh, go to sleep tonight and just never wake up and that within 24 hours, the population of humans on planet Earth would be zero. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, there, there you go. Uh, would I say this to, uh, w would I have the freedom to share that honest opinion if I wasn't here uh, on YouTube, uh, d just talking to a bunch of imaginary friends. I mean, it's probably not something I would say, uh, you know, at a picking party in Austin with my friends. Uh, you know, it's not like I would say, uh, can you pass the barbecue sauce? And by the way, I wish you would go to bed tonight and never fucking wake up tomorrow. Uh, you know, there's just a time and a place for everything. Probably would not say it to a uh, vacation rental guest. Uh, you know, I, I, I probably would not say to this very nice uh, Amish kid uh, that I wish you would go to bed tonight 
and and, uh, and never wake up. And uh, I wish you were fucking sterile. Uh, th- that you and your your eight brothers and sisters, every fucking one of you, uh, was sterile. You know, there there's a time in in a place for everything. Uh, but it, it, am I am I not saying that to this kid because? I don't want him to not like me. Uh, you know, and then it's it's not saying that uh, you should just have license to be an absolute fucking asshole, but then you look at Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, that guy, everything you can say about Donald Trump... On one fucking level, the guy does have balls. Uh, He gets up there and says whatever the fuck he wants to. Now, of course, half of at least half of what he says is complete lie, uh, just complete fabrications with no basis in truth, while I at least try to speak truth. Uh, I am speaking uh, my uh, my reality, my truth. Uh, Donald Trump knows goddamn well uh, that shit coming out of his mouth is a pack of fucking lies, and and he doesn't care. He he doesn't care that he is uh, one of the most despised people certainly in this country and on this planet because he's got the you know he's got 80 million people uh, absolutely loving him th- thinking he's fucking god uh, he can come out there be the biggest fucking asshole uh, in, in this goddamn country and, and, and make no bones about it. He obviously just revels in being an asshole. And he's got 80 million assholes uh, cheering him on. Uh, so, good for you, Donald Trump. Uh, so, I can't really say that, that, that speaking my truth... Uh, is, is, is similar to Donald Trump lying out his ass, but I do respect Donald Trump's ability to just to get up there and, and be just an outrageous fucking asshole and, and not give a fuck uh, what uh, uh, other people think about him. And... Uh, you, you know what's what's more important to me is is it more important to me to to speak my mind, to speak the truth, especially speaking the truth to power is is what I try to do. Uh, what's more important to me to speak truth to power or to be liked? Uh, I will take speaking truth to power. Uh, it, it, if anything that I ever say uh, is so inflammatory to someone that they want nothing to do with me, then <coughs> then get the fuck out. Don't have anything to fucking do with me. You will not be missed. These people, you know, the unsubscribed. Yeah, let me tell you, unsubscribed, cancel. Uh, anyway, I gotta wrap this up because I am coming into the farm and uh, back here with this 19-year-old Amish kid. We will get back to the business at hand getting this motherfucking brake light off of this truck. Bye guys.